In this lecture, we will focus on face center cubic crystals and on how to utilize Vesta, the modeling software, to visualize face centered cubic structures. More specifically, in part one of this lecture, we will derive the unit cell length and the atomic radius for the FCC unit cell. Two, we will derive the atomic packing factor for the FCC structure. And in part two of this lecture, we will focus on visualizing aluminum, which is a face-centered cubic structure, in Vesta. More specifically, we will visualize structure and on how to animate the unit cell. We will measure unit cell lengths. We will represent vectors within the unit cell. We will also represent planes within the unit cell. And finally, we will learn the boundary feature of Vesta in order to create some cut views. So the face center cubic is one of the common types of packaging for engineering metals. More specifically, the metals that, that, have, that, that have this face center cubic packaging include aluminum, copper, gold, lead, nickel, platinum, and silver. And as you can see, the face center cubic has eight corner atoms, corner atoms indicated here, and one in the rear. And then you also have face-centered atoms, meaning these atoms here are shared between two unit cells. And if you recall, the, the corner atoms are shared between a total of eight unit cells. So that means that within the unit cell, one unit cell, it is considered as one-eighth of an atom. Okay, now let's derive the relationship between the lattice parameter of the unit cell, A, and the atomic radius of the atom. Okay, so now one thing you should notice is if I outline this face of the unit cell and project that onto the left side over here, I'd have one face centered atom. Then I have one atom here that touches, uh, that is on the corner and touches with the center atom. Here's my other one. There's my other one, okay? So we know that the edge of this unit cell and this unit cell is A. And if you look at the diagonal, you'll see that it is composed of four radii, meaning this, there's four atomic radii that are here. Now you have two times the radius here, or the diameter, and here's the fourth. Okay, so immediately you should recognize that, hey, look, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. According to Pythagorean theorem, if I outline that triangle, you'll have a here and a here. Then you'll have four r along the diagonal. So Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus a squared is equal to four r squared. Okay, let's do some simplification, and then I'm going to solve for a in terms of the radius. We have 2a squared is equal to 16r squared. Let me divide out the 2. a squared is equal to 8r squared. And then let's get rid of the square root. So now we have a, the lattice parameter of the unit cell, is equal to the square root of 8 times r. Or another way to represent this is square root. This is 2 times the square root of 2 times r. Now we have the lattice parameter in terms of the radius of the atom for a face-centered cubic unit cell. So let's recall, again, we just derived the relationship between the lattice parameter length to the atomic radius. OK, now the next step would be to derive the atomic packing factor. So the atomic packing factor, by definition, is equal to the volume of the atoms within the unit cell divided by the total unit cell volume. Now, first we need to recognize how many atoms are within the unit cell. So let's do a quick calculation. So if you look at the, the if you count how many corner atoms, there should be eight. And one, again, one in the, in the rear here. There should be eight corner atoms. Each corner atom is shared between a total of eight unit cells. So that means we need to divide the eight corner atoms by eight because it's, again, it's being shared. This will give you 
a total of one atom. Now, we need to count how many face atoms we have. So, the number of face atoms are six, so because we have six faces within the cube. So we have six face atoms, okay? Now, each, each face atom is shared between two unit cells. So we must divide this number by two, and here you'll get three atoms. So now we must sum up the total. You'll see that there are a total of four atoms. Three plus one is equal to four atoms. Okay, now, now that we have how many atoms we have in the unit cell, we must find out what the volume that the, the, the volume that these atoms occupy. So as you recall, we represent these atoms as hard spheres. And the volume of one sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So to get the total volume of the atoms, first we need to find out how many atoms. So we have four atoms. Now I'm looking at the numerator. We have a, four, we have a total of four atoms. And the volume of one atom is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, now we need to divide by the total unit cell volume. Well, we know that the total cubic volume of this, of this unit cell is A cubed, the lattice parameter cubed. Now, this is why it's important to have that relationship between the lattice parameter and the atomic radius from before, because now we can plug in for the lattice parameter A in terms of the atomic radius. So, let's do that. Simplify a little bit, 16 over 3, pi r to the cubes. Because ultimately what we're trying to do is cancel out the, the atomic radius. And you, what you'll see is the, how well these atoms pack within the unit cell is not dependent on the atomic radius. So it could be any size atom and it'll still pack the same way. Down here we have 2 root 2 r, which is all cubed. Three, two to the thirds, three, two to the third power, then we have the square root of two to the third power, then we have that r cubed value. See, so right here, you'll see that the r cubes cancel, okay? Now, if you plug this into your calculator, you will find that the atomic packing factor uh, within the uh, face center cubic is approximately equal to 0 0.7. So that means if you multiply this by 100%, the atoms occupy approximately 74% of the total available volume within the unit cell. In part two of this lecture, we will look at aluminum, which is a face center cubic, and utilize the VESTA program to visualize our unit cell and also how to visualize vectors and planes.